Bitcoin a Ponzi scheme and Ave secures a license. What's going on guys? Randy here with another daily crypto video. So before I get into the content, I just wanted to make you guys, let you guys know that you can get free crypto from Coinbase, whether you're a new or an existing user, you can get $10 of free EOS, Stellar, and $9 of Compound just for watching a couple of videos, answering a couple questions. Links down in the description. All right, so so Ryan Air CEO says he would never invest a penny into Bitcoin. So Michael O'Leary, the CEO of major budget airline Ryanair has come out very bearish on Bitcoin. Recently speaking to the Times, O'Leary likened Bitcoin to a Ponzi scheme and advised investors to avoid it. Quote, I have never and would never invest one cent in Bitcoin, which I believe is equivalent to a Ponzi scheme. I would strongly advise everyone with any shred of common sense to ignore this false story and avoid Bitcoin like the plague. O'Leary was referring to an apparent crypto scam Bitcoin lifestyle, which claimed to have his approval in promotional campaign. A bogus news article on a fake news outlet claimed that, in an interview on the Late Late Show, O'Leary shocked audiences and the host Ryan uh, to to Britty by showing how much money he was making with the Bitcoin scheme, which advertises itself as an automated trading system. Per the scam's campaign, it was enough to drive National Ireland Bank to phone the show and attempt to stop the bit from being aired. One problem is that the National Ireland Bank does not exist. Using the image of wealthy and famous people to promote cryptocurrency scams is a very common tactic to gain credibility among potential investors. In early April, a Bitcoin trading scam claimed the involvement of the Duke of Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry Charles, Albert David, and Meghan Markle. In March, Janet Jackson's billionaire ex-husband, uh, Wissam Elmana demanded Facebook to reveal who paid for ads that featured his image while promoting a crypto fraud. So much, so much scam out there within the crypto space, and it just gives Bitcoin a bad name for people, for the normal people who have no clue what it does and why it is, what what it's for, stuff like that. And just, it's just, uh, it's a black eye, the scam. So. You know, be careful yourself. Don't get in on these scams that promise riches. I mean, you might think that they're uh, they're legit, but look a little deeper because some are pure scams, like Versage. That's an Ethereum scam, Ponzi scheme. Uh, you know, there's a lot of investors getting in on that that are normal people, and then when it goes belly up and the card table, you know, uh, falls those normal people are gonna have a bad taste about cryptocurrency and they're gonna think it's all a scam because they got into the wrong investment that promised riches uh, quickly and easily. So let me know what you guys think uh, think below about Bitcoin being a Ponzi scheme and just uh, crypto scams in general. So moving on to the next story, altcoin of the day, Aave. So, Ave has been granted an electronic money institution license by the UK Financial Conduct Authority. So Ave's UK business entity, Ave Limited, was issued an electronic money institution license in July. The approval factors into the project's broader adoption goals, Ave said Monday. Non-custodial lending and borrowing protocol, Ave's UK business entity, has been issued an electronic money institution license. Ave Limited was granted approval on July 7th, according to public information published by the UK Financial Conduct Authority, which issued the authorization. Such an authorization allows the recipient to offer services such as issuing digital cash alternatives and providing payment services. According to the founder and CEO, Stani Kolokov, the application for the authorization was first submitted in 2018. The objective was to help Ave ecosystem to access payment accounts and onboard users, users into DeFi, he told the block in an email. Electronic money institution is the same authorization that Coinbase and Revolut has in Europe. 
it will mostly support onboarding new us users into the Aave ecosystem and de to decentralized protocol over time. Given that the entity is based in the UK, a, pi a pilot for its specific service will start in that country. Aave Limited has its own dedicated website and it's headquartered in London. Aave will pilot in the UK before rolling out to cover the whole EEA and expanding globally, said Kulikov. Specifically, the service will allow users to go from fiat to stable coins and other assets natively in the Aave ecosystem and then use these assets in the Aave protocol. Um, pretty, pretty awesome news. I'm going to link this article down below in the description. If you're an Aave fan, let me know in the comments what do you like about Aave. Just it seems like it's a, just a massive project. It's, it's something I'm not invested in at the mom, moment, but would definitely be interested in getting in on Aave. Uh, it's just been going crazy over the past uh, a few months, and just, you know, news like this is only going to make it go higher, and uh, it's just going to attract even more investors. So Aave sounds like a very, very, very good project in the DeFi space. One thing before I let you guys go, if you have not downloaded the Brave browser yet, it is built on the Google Chrome framework, but the main difference is it blocks trackers and ads, saves on bandwidth, saves on time, and you get paid in basic attention token for clicking ads that pop up while you're browsing. So far for the month, I've earned 21.245 bat. That's $8.48 US dollars. And when Brave gets to its all when bat gets to its all-time high of almost a dollar. It's twenty-one dollars just for using the Brave browser. Link down in the description. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you tomorrow.